Hey you guys, it's Moonlander back after a long hiatus. And uh, since there's so few new movies to go for these days, I'm gonna be watching some uh, older movies. And for this one, I'm gonna be reviewing the movie Bully, directed by Larry Clark. And now this is available on Amazon Prime if you have it. Um, I bought the DVD of it a few months ago. Bobby and I have been friends since we were like almost born. Raped Alec. Treats everyone like shit. So what are you gonna do, Lisa? He's the source of everybody's troubles. Are we really gonna do this? This guy deserves to die. Hey! And I haven't seen this movie in probably like 10 years. And I remember it very fondly. Uh, and I wanted to see if I still enjoyed it as much as I had remembered enjoying it. And now this is a Larry Clark movie. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the name, he did Kids. And if you're not familiar with Kids... Uh, do yourself a favor and watch it, as well as Bully. Okay, so Bully is about these two guys who grew up together. Uh, and while they may not think they are friends, uh, the one named Bobby, played by Nick Stahl, uh, bullies, manipulates, uses, abuses, and pimps out his friend Marty, played by Brad Renfro. Uh, now the character played by Nick Stahl goes as far as to raping Marty's girlfriend, uh, and he also rapes her other friend as well. And it's not long after, uh this that they get some of their buddies together and they develop a plan to kill this bully uh, Nick Stahl. So the good things about Bully uh, first off Nick Stahl playing the bully Bobby uh, is absolutely amazing in this film. Who's that? Lonnie back there? You're talking about Lonnie in the back seat? Dad. He's gonna get mad at me and then what? What's he gonna do then? What are you gonna do, Lonnie? It's Donnie, dude. It's definitely Donnie. Yeah, whatever. You know your girlfriend's a hooker? Uh, his character is so bizarre and evil while still maintaining a believable performance. Uh, you never know what this guy is going to do or say next. But you're sure it's going to be awful and somehow comes across as wonderful. <laughs> now, the rest of the cast of Bully does extremely well. And there is a short interview with Larry Clark on the DVD. And uh, it, unfortunately, it only is really about his thoughts of the cast. But at least you get to see that much. And he did nothing but praise each cast member and give a brief description of where he found them. And uh, you have to give it to him. He casted this movie really well. And now, as with kids, Bully sucks you in. For me, it was an unfamiliar world. Uh, that's not my teen years. And it's totally believable. And it, it, to me, his movies feel as real as you can get. And you do not get this type of reality out of most movies. And it, it's really a remarkable film viewing experience. And I, I highly suggest uh, at least bullying kids. Now, the only bad things I'm going to say about Bully is... There is strong sexual content in this movie, um, both hetero and homosexual. Um, I mean, it's not like graphic, hardcore porn, but uh, I mean, it's on the verge of it. 
I'm willing to look past that and accept it as part of the movie, but I know a lot of people aren't. Uh, so I just want to warn you, if you absolutely are not willing to tolerate uh, strong sex, whatever sexuality it is, uh, you might want to skip uh, Larry Clark. And while there is graphic sex, full frontal nudity, and the F word is listed as being used 274 times in this movie, uh, it, it, it all of between all of that, it, it may seem a negative to you and be an uncomfortable experience for others. But I feel these elements add to the realism of the film, and it would not be as an impactful film to me without it. So my final thoughts on Bully is, look, some. People would say that Kids and Bully are great movies, uh, but they only really need to be seen once. And I'm going to have to disagree with that. I think they are unique and masterful examples of filmmaking and uh, should at least be appreciated uh, maybe every other year. <laughs> and they're definitely movies to show your friends and family. Uh, and I have seen people say that uh, kids at least should be shown in school and I agree and follow it with Bully and Requiem for a Dream. Alright, I give Bully a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to be doing some more reviews. Uh, see you on the next one.